A new shocking study shows that women are working more hours than ever and still carrying the bulk of the domestic workload. According to a more than 40 year long study by the Institute for Women's Policy Research, men and women can no longer afford to work less if they want to have accessible child care. And it certainly seems like women are working harder than ever before. City Lab staff writer Sarah Holder joins me now to talk more about this report. So this report was really interesting. It wasn't just about women in the workplace. It was taking a look at just the amount of work we're all doing, but some of the statistics in regards to women, it's really, really interesting. Women seem to be the ones that are not only, you know, increasing the amount of hours that they're working outside of the home, but they also continue to carry the burden of all the work needed inside the home. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the most striking findings is that on average, women are working more paid hours than they have in the last 40 years. Um, Full-time workers who are women are working five more weeks a year, um, and men are working about one more week a year. Um, but for mothers, these differences are even greater. So mothers are working about 300 more paid hours a year, um, and men are working about eight hours less. Uh, so. Um, but, but what's interesting is that um, in the early 2000s, women were becoming a greater and greater share, uh, working mothers were becoming a greater and greater share of the workforce. But since then, that growth has stagnated. So even though they're working more hours, um, they're not more likely to be working uh, as a working mother. And then when you take a look at minority women, you see the gaps even bigger. Right. So black mothers um, for the past 40 years have been working more than any other uh, mothers of any other race or ethnicity. Um, so that's consistent uh, over over all those 40 years and, and remains the same today. And another surprising finding in this study is the amount of women working part time. Why are we seeing a shift and are women benefiting from this move? Yeah, I mean, uh, it shows that women are—a uh, quarter of women who are working are working part-time. So that's throughout their lives, especially in their prime working years, um, in mid and late careers, they're working part-time more than men. Um, th this shows that there's a lot of family responsibilities at home. Um, there's a lot of jobs that require overwork or working more than 40 hours a week, and it's often men who are able to do those jobs or, or working fathers who are mm -hmm. able to do those jobs. Um, meanwhile, women are perhaps working voluntarily part-time um, sometimes, but they've also reported that a lot of the reasons why they're working part-time are to do work uh, in the home, so unpaid labor for their children or their elderly parents. Um, and, and that is having impacts in how much time they can spend in the office. So it certainly seems, according to the study, there are, you know, some steps forward that women are taking, but they're also taking some steps back. What needs to change to bring about more equality? Well, for one thing, if women are working more part-time hours, um, the nature of part-time work could be uh, strengthened and, and made more stable. So part-time work is often more precarious. There are fewer benefits. Um, there's less um, stability in scheduling. So uh, policies that could increase that stability would benefit women um, more than men, it seems. Researchers also suggest that giving more um, paid leave uh, for child rearing, um, more vacation days, and a de-emphasis on this overwork that allows, perhaps, fathers to work uh, longer hours and mothers to uh, take care of those care responsibilities. Uh, perhaps the emphasis on working more than 40 hours a week uh, could be de-emphasized. But also there's a technological revolution coming. Um, a lot of people are worried that it will uh, uh, displace a lot of workers, but the productivity gained from those technological changes um, could also be used to sort of rebalance those gender disparities, mm -hmm. um, allow women to have more time to advance in their careers, and allow fathers to spend more time not at the office and at home um, caring for their children. You know, there have been a lot of improvements um, when it comes to women in the workplace. It's sort of, sometimes they feel like they're baby steps because we still see that in terms of the amount of money that women make compared to men, it's still, sort of, we're still falling behind. But what sort of impact do you think the feminist movement has had on, on the changes that we've seen over the past 40 years? Well, I think the emphasis on um, being able to uh, have it all or mm. be able to work and um, advance in your career and uh, take care of a family is definitely um, a positive for the feminist movement and for a lot of women. Um, but I think what this shows is that uh, those gains in women in the workplace are not allowing fathers to work less. Mm -hmm. um, and once you reach a certain point in the career, um, 
often you have to make those sacrifices if you are a mother, and that the idea of having it all, which has already sort of been um, debunked by other studies, mm -hmm. uh, is, is pretty prevalent, especially just when you look at all the hours in the, in the day, weeks in the year, um, these trade-offs are happening, um, even if they're happening perhaps less than before. Yeah, very fascinating. Sarah Holder, thank you.